What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about Oladipo getting traded from um, Indiana to the Rockets, and the Rockets will just give up the guy they just received in the trade in Karis LeVert, who I do think Oladipo has a little bit more upside just because he is having a better season than he had last year coming off the injury, and he should. You get you know more comfortable. Um, you start to find your foot in, but we already knew that Victor Oladipo didn't want to be there, and he's been proving that um, for the last couple months as he's been in trade rumors for a while. Um, one thing I'll say about Oladipo, he is averaging 20 points, five rebounds, and four assists um, with the Indiana Pacers, so he did go out there and, and play play his game. He didn't whine and pout. He, he played like a professional. He sucked it up, and the Pacers got off to a decent start. But he still is struggling with his shot creation. As the last three years, he has shot below 45%. He shot 42 three years ago. Um, last year, he shot 39 and 31 from three. This year, he's shooting 36 from three, but he's shooting 42 um, from the field. And he also shooting 73 from the free throw line. And he's getting you still to 20 points and one steal. But it's obviously, he's not the Oladipo that he was when he was an all-NBA all-star player. He was a tenacious defender. He was a great playmaker for his position. And he had the explosiveness to get to the rim, hit the mid-range jumper, or just pull up in your face. Or if you go into the screen, stop and pop and hit a jump shot. And that's what made him so dangerous was because of his versatility and the fact that he can score in a multiple ways. And he just doesn't have that explosion. He just don't have that first step that he had before. Even though I still do believe that he's not going to quit, he is going to continue to bet on himself. I do look at the Rockets as a team that's willing to give him the money if he wants to stay. And that had to be discussed when this trade was made as Karis LeVert is obviously still under contract as he just signed his extensions a couple years ago. So they had the long-term commitment already from LeVert contract-wise, but they still felt like Oladipo was the better player and the better fit probably for them, and that's why they moved him so quick. Plus, they're going to add some picks into this to make the trade balance out, but it still is a gamble as Oladipo still doesn't look quite like himself just yet. He's still a productive player. He still is a starter. He is still one of the you know bottom of the, of the shooting guard position. But if he can continue to get comfortable, continue to gain confidence and continue to play his game, maybe he can get back to being a 25 point scorer, which I believe the Rockets will need as they just lost James Harden, um, who is one of the best playmakers and scorers in the league. And they're taking a huge hit going down to Karis now going down to Victor. So, you know, this is all taking a gamble and taking a bet on a guy that betted on himself a years ago and he bet on himself again as the Pacers did give him a long-term contract and he did turn it down because he didn't want to be there and now he's on the move already. Um, one thing I will say about the Pacers getting Karis LeVert in the pick isn't that bad because Karis LeVert is going to play hard. He is going to go out there and try to help the team win. He isn't going to whine or complain about his role and even though I did know that his days in, in Brooklyn was numbered when this once they got Kevin Durant and Kyrie it eventually did come to reality he has been a good player um, he still does need to work on his outside shooting especially from mid-range and off the dribble and he still do have to get that three ball to eventually start falling at a better clip if he wants to be a better player in the league but other than that I do feel like Oladipo is just a little bit better than Karras. That's why you're giving up the pick also. And I do still think that Karras is not a finished product. He can also get better and he can also play better. And they won't need him to do as much in Indiana because they have a lot of guys already down there that's eating um, out there. For Can you turn it off? Yep.